we are to rewrite this equation that is given to us into the form that is like this. And what is this? This is one of the hyperbolas. So this question is related to conics. Let us write down this first. So we have a 16x square minus 32x minus y square. This is equal to 16. We're going to carry out a completing square process for this at least. So for completing square for an expression that is like this, we need to first make sure that the coefficient of x square is positive 1. So let's factorize out 16. So now you immediately give me a positive 1x square minus 2x minus y square, this is equal to 16. And let's complete the square for this. So we will have uh, x minus 1 square minus 1 square minus y square, this is equal to 16. Multiplying 16 in, we have a 16 x minus 1 square minus 16 minus y square, this is equal to 16. Bringing 16 over to the other side, we have a 16 x minus 1 square minus y square, this is equal to 16 plus 16, this is 32. And I'm going to divide by 32 throughout the equation, which will then give me a x minus 1 square over 2 minus y square over 32 is equal to 1. And what we want to do is to re-express this further so that it can look exactly like a format that is like this. So this will be x minus 1 square divided by 2, which I'm going to rewrite it as square root of 2 square minus y. I'm going to rewrite it as y minus 0 square divided by 32, which I'm going to write it as square root of 32 square. And this is equal to 1. And now we have the format that the question wants us to show. We just need to write down the values for h, k, a, and b. h is this over here. So according to what we have, h is going to be equal to 1. And k is this. And according to what we have here, k is equal to 0. And if I were to continue to compare, a is going to be equal to square root of 2. And b is equal to square root of 32. In this part of the question, we are supposed to sketch the graph of what we have from the first part, which is a hyperbola. So we're going to press it into our calculator to give ourselves a rough idea of how this hyperbola looks like. And this is what I've gotten. And for this hyperbola, from what we have memorized, it is going to contain two oblique asymptotes. Let us write down the two oblique asymptotes. So based on the equation that is given and based on how I have memorized the format of the oblique asymptote, they will look like this. y minus 0 is equal to square root of 32 over square root of 2. And let's not forget the plus or minus. And this is going to be multiplied to x minus 1. So we have a y is equal to plus or minus. This is square root of 16, which is 4 of x minus 1. So the two oblique asymptotes will be, one of them will be y is equal to minus 4x plus 4. The other one will be 4x minus 4. So for the two oblique asymptotes that I've already drawn here, this with the negative gradient, will be y is equal to minus 4x plus 4. As for this, which has the positive gradient, will be y is equal to 4x minus 4. As for the center of the hyperbola, we can derive that based on this number and this number. So it is going to be 1, 0. The x coordinate is 1. The y coordinate is 0. As for the horizontal radius of the hyperbola, which is this distance and this distance, we can take reference from this number here, which is square root of 2. So from here to here, it is square root of 2, which means that the x coordinate of this point is going to be 1 plus square root of 2. And the y coordinate is going to be 0 because this point, which is going to be a horizontal, which is going to be on the horizontal level as the center, will share the same y coordinate as this. So 0, it falls on the x-axis. As for this, okay, the y coordinate will also be 0. As for the x coordinate, since this distance is square root of 2, so it is going to be 1 minus square root of 2. Mm -hmm.